Poland and Iran are in a spat. Left to their own devices, it's a spat neither country would want. But so it goes, with Poland set to host an international summit February 13th and 14th that has been widely seen as an anti-Iran conference. The conference came at the initiative of U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo during his trip to the Middle East earlier this month. Nations are rallying to our side to confront the regime like never before. Egypt, Oman, Kuwait, and Jordan have all been instrumental in thwarting Iran's efforts to evade sanctions. Poland then agreed to host the event and to be its co-chair. Iran hit back, canceling a Polish film festival that had been set for Tehran, slamming the Polish government on social media. So Poland faced a choice, Iran or the United States. When Washington calls, Polish analysts say, Warsaw needs to answer. The main point for organizing this visit for Poland is uh, basically to score points with uh, the U.S. administration and to get some prestige. And uh, in addition, Poland gets a visit from Secretary Pompeo, his first. Poland wants the U.S. to build a military base on its soil to deter Russia from someday invading. That and the Polish government may also want to show support from Washington at a time when it's in the doghouse in Brussels for what many in Europe see as moves that erode Poland's rule of law. Poland sent its deputy foreign minister to Tehran last week to try to patch up ties. It may not be enough. As for uh, maintaining good relations with Iran, uh, that ship might have sailed, so it will be very hard to keep good re relations with Iran. The U.S. State Department now says the conference won't focus only on Iran. That hasn't changed the perception, leaving Poland at center stage of the U.S. campaign against Iran with a spat Warsaw would have preferred to avoid. Owen Alterman, I-24 News.